Welcome, you have reviewed for, reached review time with Imperial. Today's review would be 2018's version of Predator. Let's get into it. So, if you've been watching the Predator movies over the years, you may have your favorite one if you're a fan. The Predator original with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day in the 80s was a classic film from there in the early 90s they had part two with Danny Glover I rewatched that after I rewatched it it was pretty it was decent it wasn't that bad a little bit unbelievable but it wasn't bad uh since then you have had some predator movies there was one that came up with the actor uh Adrian Brown Adrian Brown I forgot what his name his his real name pardon me but not knowing his uh correct name. He came out one that people like that was kind of decent. Then there was the Alien vs. Predator movie. There was one with Sinai Nathan. That was bogus. Didn't care too much for that one. Then there was a Predator vs. Alien movie that came out. And it was on Earth, man. It was so they had a lot of them. They, they've been just fishing and trying to, you know, keep it going. Some was a hit or miss. Then we get to this one. Out of nowhere, we start seeing the movie trailers and a pop up for this movie. And then from the trailers, it looked it interesting. Like how are they gonna pull this off now with all the technology in this 2018? So people the fans of the predator were intrigued so they figured they made the like the aliens remake of the aliens a couple years ago which was whack they why not make a remake of the predators this wasn't necessarily a remake this was an add-on to the other predators so uh let's get into it it starts off with uh spaceship war with two predators but you don't understand why it's some type of spaceship war with two predators until later in the film. But you have one predator chasing another predator in a spaceship. And upon uh, getting, getting rid of the one predator, he dipped into Earth. In the process of dipping to Earth, he detached from his spaceship, would hit his spaceship somewhere. Then he escaped in a capsule. Meanwhile, where he landed at was where US soldiers were trying to kill some Mexican cartel. So it interfered, interfered with what they were doing. It takes the, the main character that you see on all the previews so by the interference of the predator you got to see he found the predators like the arm gadget thing the predator always has that uh he wears on his arm and he had the predator's mask he put the arm thing on he had a little engagement with the predator at first but then he he was able to dip off and when he dipped off, he he pushed the button on the arm thing, which popped out. There was like, you know, the thing that the Predator uses that allows them to go stealth where nobody can see him. So he was able to get that, retrieve that. He showed up in a town in Mexico, uh, told the Mexican people, hey, listen, um, disperse. Told the dude he needed his help. And then when they didn't help him, he used the thing to disappear and told him basically, hey man, help me, I got something. You know, I could I could do some wreck some things in here. So dude, he told him, listen, what's in this bag? Don't send the bag, just mail it out. And so dude left, as the dude left, the authorities came, which wasn't really the authorities, it's really the uh secret operative government agency that has been monitoring the whole predator situation meanwhile the predator that escaped in the castle is knocked out um he was knocked out 
at the scene where he landed. So they sedated him, but you don't know this until later in the film. Meanwhile, the soldier has a son and the son is special where he's uh he's not what i what you call he has autism or anything like that but he may be um his brain works differently than other people's brain he sees things different like he's a wizard and mathematician and viewing something and then he doesn't view it like the rest of the regular person may you view it he views it differently he looks past the different angles he got great memory and so one of the ways that you see this he's in school he's in the chess um class or something like that and he's watching all the kids move while he's walking by and some kids that uh that's been up to mischief pulled us a uh, fire alarm when everybody get let out the room the kids coming to see him because of the sound of the alarm, it it hurts his ears. So they knock all the chess pieces off, and then because he was walking around the room looking at everybody's game, he was able to put all the chess pieces back the way they, way they were before the kids got left out of the building. So it was just showing his intelligence. When he gets home, him and his mom they receive some type of uh, well, no, just him because his mom wasn't home yet. He receives, his dad's mail got shipped to the house. So that's where in comes the package that the dad has sent. Inside the package, it's a mask and uh, the thing that goes on the arm of the predator. So from there, the kid, of course, being a nosy kid, opens the package up. He sees the, the mask of the predator. Also, he sees the arm thing, he start fooling around with that. It unlocks something inside of that arm thing that he pushes a button, then it shows like a map or something. Because he sees things differently, he goes and he's able, like a video game, detect and cipher the alien technology inside the thing. So uh, yeah, this is Hollywood, by the way. And meanwhile, the dad is being investigated then he gets placed on a bus with a bunch of guys that have PTSD and they got issues and they're on their way to where they're keeping the predator that was sedated. Meanwhile, there was a scientist woman who they called on to when they want to check DNA and stuff like that. They pull her into the matter and then they introduce her to the predator and she sees the predator and they show her something that basically says this predator has human DNA so they want to know if someone has been having sex with predators and then uh, rebuilt the predator and you'll find out later that that's not the case but so I mean the movie is decent I could go on and on before the uh, theatric theatrical effects or whatever it's okay um it's not the greatest i was reading some reviews some people really didn't like it i don't know what they were expecting um how much can you do storyline could have been hit better the uh hollywood is a is a mofo um because of youtube guidelines i didn't curse but Hollywood is a mofo, so you're going to see a lot of Hollywood unbelievable stuff that happens and you say that only Hollywood can pull it at all. Not realistic at all. In a nutshell, the Predators over the years have been trying to make the ultimate Predator by stealing the DNA of the best combat species on each Earth or on each um, planet. And so each time they're making a better and better predator, they're high Britain. So that's why that predator DNA had showed signs of human DNA because they took human DNA to um, make that predator. That predator was actually a good predator coming to help people of Earth to defeat the new predators that's coming out or whatever. And so he stole 
some of their technology and was basically coming to bring that to earth. Why? Who knows? Why he want to help us? Who knows? Why he wanted to steal from his own kind? Who knows? Doesn't really give you no information on that. So that's where the story becomes bogus and you're like, ah, man, okay, that don't make no sense. So that's where parts where you, you hear people said it wasn't a good move because the storyline, the way it was written, could have been better. Um, had some holes. You know, it was, it was action packed. You know, the predator got to do his thing. Then you had a, a, a medium sized predator. And then you had a super giant predator. And of course, you know, at the end, they defeat the predator. Then at the, there's no post credit scene. Then at the very end, it shows that it could be another one, I guess. It's going to depend on how much it makes at the box office, if, if it's going to be another one or not. But out of my four point four star rating system, I give it two out of four stars. If you was home, this could have been a straight Netflix film and you would have been content. You know, if you was home chilling and it came on, you can sit and watch it. It'd be cool. It's not theater worthy. Two out of four stars. It's just an OK film. Um, other than that, subscribe and like, share the video, comment if you like, make sure you, uh, hit the notifications button till the next time. Stay tuned.